we are going to show how you can integrate the stripe payment we will show this is the uh, stripe payment ui you can easily configure uh, this payment gateway other than any other payment gateway for this first you need to make one account in stripe uh, you can go the stripe.com and after registration you can uh, get the access uh, if you are in India, you need just a PAN card enough. For other country, uh, maybe the document will vary. Uh, there's two options. One is test mode and one is live mode. Uh, for integration time, better to put in the test mode. Uh, from this website, we need two uh, key. Uh, one is publish key. You can copy from the this publish key. And another one is uh, secret key. You get the secret, tree, uh, secret key. Sorry. <coughs> Uh, after revealing the secret key you need to just uh, uh, enter the password and continue you can copy paste the secret key also so we get the two key uh, we need this for integration uh, and the second step you need to install the dependency uh, just type the stripe and uh, the flutter stripe this is the official uh, dependency so you can copy paste uh, into your uh, pubspec yaml file i just copy paste and uh, you need to just uh, pubget to get the dependency and uh, the third step uh, we can integrate the payment in three mode uh, uh, you can see payment sheet card field card form but uh, they are recommended is, uh, uh, using payment sheet because it's very easy and uh, we can customize and we can easily handle the error so for the customization i will just click the docs okay uh, here are all the setup uh, the first step we need to set up the server side okay uh, the setup one uh, server side here I am using Node.js as my server. Uh, if you are using PHP, uh, other Ruby, Python, all is available. Here I am using the uh, Node. So first you need to install the npm package uh, by copy paste this npm install stripe.save. You need to install this uh, stripe. And after that, show on wind okay this is the code you can uh, copy paste this code uh, I will show in my uh, page you can see the you need to first this is the first line you need to initialize the stripe and uh, here you need to pass the secret key uh, i just uh, take the secret key from uh, env file uh, that secret key i show you can get the secret key from here this secret key uh, you need to paste in here and uh, this is the payment sheet method i create in the uh, my server side uh, i will give the code in the uh, description you can copy paste here you need to only uh, do the some change uh, you can customize the amount as per your need you can take the data from client side or server and the currency you can uh, change the currency INR to USD any other and uh, the customer this already the stripe will handle no need to worry uh, and uh, if you want any description uh, you can add the description here these three are you need to change in the server side code okay and also uh, there is a you can put the publish key and uh, here you need to paste the public public key uh, you can get from this publish key so you need to paste the publish key here uh, i take the publish key from dot uh, env file so we need to change the uh, data here uh, the first one is amount as per your need second one is currency as per your need 
and the description if you want the description like product details anything or product name and the fourth one is the publish key and also this uh, secret key so the total five data you need to change in the uh, your server set code i will give the code in the description and you can use so our server side code is uh, already finished uh, i will show the how the response will be like uh, uh, using the postman stripe uh, this is the uh, 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 the payment sheet i calling uh, using and the uh, postman uh, the method is post c this is the uh, response uh, we get the four parameter one is payment intent and a uh, other one f from m -feral key and the other one is customer and the fourth one is publish key okay these are the response so you should verify you get the uh, this uh, uh, response uh, from the code and after that you can move to the client side code okay here uh, uh, this is my ui page uh, i just put the ui page uh, in your case uh, maybe the different so you need to just uh, here i just uh, make one card and i just put one a button this is the my elevated button uh, stripe payment button and uh, here i call the init payment sheet here is the logic this is the method you need to copy paste i will give the code in the description okay here i am using do as uh, my http uh, in your case you are using the http package or any other page package that's no matter you need to call the post method and uh, here i just pass the same url i am sending the uh, by a postman here i use the same url and after that i get the response this is the same response you need to get in the your uh, flutter app and from this uh, we need to take the the four parameter uh, payment intent m -feral key customer and publish key that i show here uh, before you need to confirm by postman or anything uh, we get the this four parameter correctly okay now the second step is uh, you need to pass the publish key you get the publish key publish key from the server you need to pass the stripe dot publish key you need to pass the publish key you can directly uh, pass the publish key here like uh, you can copy paste the publish key from here and you can directly pass but uh, it's not recommended way because the publish key is a uh, like a secret key so better to pass it from the server okay then the other thing uh, this one i will explain later the fourth step is uh, you need to initialize the payment sheet this is the code here we need to pass the some parameter uh, payment sheet parameter and the type is uh, uh, setup payment parameter you need to put the custom flow as fail and the merchant display name uh, this name is showing in the uh, this uh, payment sheet when uh, come uh, it will show uh, the uh, name or oh, when it's uh, you see the mobizate uh, give the here and the payment intent and a customer mfrl key these two we get from the server like here payment intent and mfrl key and the customer id yeah, I, here i just pass the customer uh, that also get from the server and uh, the other thing is billing details uh, you can create the billing details like here uh, the type is billing details and uh, here you need to give the 
டாட்டா கண்ட்ரி சிட்டி அட்ரஸ் லைன் ஒன் அட்ரஸ் லைன் டூ எக்ஸட்ரா ஓகே ஐ வில் கிவ் த கோட் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ஸோ டோன்ட் வரி யூ கேன் கோபி பேஸ்ட் அண்ட் யூ கேன் சேஞ்ச் த டாட்டா ஏஸ் யூ நீட் த ஆல் அதர் திங் இஸ் சேம் இட்ஸ் ஐ டேக் த கோட் ஃப்ரம் த official document you can get the code from official document also but you can use the my same code okay and now we init the payment sheet after init the payment sheet you need to call the stripe dot instance dot present payment sheet this method is showing the payment sheet okay it's to show the payment sheet okay and uh, you can Uh, call the then method to success so if the payment is success uh, here you can do the necessary thing you can uh, navigate to your success page or any other message if you want you can show and uh, on error uh, here i just uh, show one uh, snack bar uh, i will show now i just uh, close the payment has been cancelled okay uh, that all handled by error so this is the code uh, i will give the description i will explain one more you need to in the client side you need to change only here uh, in the uh, payment sheet parameters you need to change the display name and the merchant code uh, if you are using google pay uh, note that google pay may be not showing in your uh, uh, stripe because uh, uh, google pay has some limitation in india if you are using in india or some other country google pay is not available so uh, in us uk it may be show so here in the client side you need to change the things uh, in the billing details uh, you need to pass the billing data as per your customer and also you need to change the uh, country in google pay and the currency code this only you need to change in the uh, site in the uh, uh, sorry in the client side okay and the uh, there so you need to double check uh, two three things first one uh if you are uh, run the application in android you need to make sure uh the source main uh, resource and the value style you need to copy paste the this style uh, i will give this uh, code also in the description so you need to replace your uh, current code with uh, Uh, this code and uh, i will show one more thing uh, with the current time there is one issue oh, when uh, i'll show uh, sorry okay uh, with the current uh, version there is one issue i found uh, if you add uh, any data and if you press the backspace the app will crash so maybe in the future the stripe will solve and if you feel the uh, problem you can do uh, this one in your app dot build dot gradle file you need to add these uh, lines okay i will give this line also in the description so you can copy paste okay thank you